Um. Oh wow, we are having Roy versus Snake. That's going to be interesting. I have yeah. absolutely no idea how this matchup plays out, but hey. Well, for one thing, I think that uh, Roy being mindful of grenades is gonna be big. Uh, normally Roy likes getting in, doing all this pressure, looking cool, but if Snake has a grenade in hand, that's gonna be cut very short. So um, it's gonna be a lot about picking your openings properly. Yeah, I gotta also remember where that, um, where he planted his bomb. So, you know, that's, as a Roy, you're moving around a ton. I can imagine you would just happen to forget, oh, hey, he has his, his bomb planted, his C4 planted right on that platform. Yeah, and of well, course, I'm for dead. you guys playing alone at ho along at home, uh, we will give regular public service announcements updating you on the exact position of that C4. <laughs> of course. It's one of our it's one of our few duties as a commentator. It's uh, right it is on currently that on the platform right there on the right side. Still yet to detonate. It is now detonated, I yes. believe. He ran right over it. I'm actually kinda surprised. <laughs> Alright. Oh. That's dangerous. Yeah. Wow. Okay then. Back it's to a, even. It's a trade. It's a one for one. There are worse ways for things to go, so... Coleman getting kind of destroyed with these recoveries, taking a ton of damage. But then again, last time he got gimped for his recovery, he ended up reverse gimping Tom on accident. So hey, who knows? <laughs> Seems like Tom is being pretty dominant at the moment, though. Oh, just... When it just gaining so much damage off stage from from Coleman oh. from Coltman trying to Smart recover. Pair, waiting a little bit and then going for that ledge attack. There is complete invincibility on the ledge attack, so uh, it was just going to beat out that down smash every time. Uh, good recognition from Tom. Get out of that. Let get out of that bad situation. And oh, oh look, I'm no, last side beat. And it's like awesome. I wonder what happened with that delay. Um, maybe, maybe and maybe he was trying to catch an air dodge or something. Where are you going? <gasps> oh, he saved him. He saved him. Oh my gosh. And we're all friends here. Yeah, you know, instead of a homie dog, we're gonna homie save you, bro. You're good. <laughs> the homie save. Beautiful. All C4 right. is up on the right platform. <laughs> right underneath, right above where uh, that, Tom keeps like running right around them and they're always getting detonated when he's just out of range. So I guess he is aware of where they are and he's just being almost deceptively careful. Trying to get them out of play, potentially. Um, yeah, Tom is, even though Coleman is putting down a ton of grenades, Tom is very easily getting around very easily getting around them and dealing so much more damage. His neutral has just been very strong this game. Yeah, another high recovery. Oh, wow. Uh, that happened. Um, oh my, and that might be the turnaround that uh, Coltman needed. He's at 168, but he's at the point now where an up tilt might do oh, it. Actually, yep, I, I there thought. There we go. I thought he landed the up tilt, but no, that was actually a falling up there from uh, Tom. So, game one, going to the Roy. Yeah, um, Coleman almost seemed to be a little too reliant on grenades and neutral. Potentially just putting out almost too many and commit and committing a bit. Can we also talk about how sick that movement was for the final stock? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, the, uh... Here, look look at this. The goes on the platform here. Uh, yeah, just like perfectly spaces out. Goes on this platform, wave lands back, and then runs off. Waits for the spot dodge. That was the thing. He 
faked him out by going up on that platform. He was probably expecting the immediate landing aerial, and that tiny bit of delay, that repositioning, was what Tom needed to actually get the opening for the kill. And so we're going to be having game two back to Battlefield. I don't disagree with this. I think that the last game, honestly, was not the stage. Uh, there were just several adjustments on Coltman's part. Keep in mind, he did save him. Yeah, he did. It happened so quickly, him. we forgot about it, but... It, he could have just won the match right there. So, I feel like Coltman has a really good chance here. Here, he... He, gim he almost gimped him, gimped him once. He was still a pretty close game. And, and I guess we'll see how Coltman responds to, to Tom's to Tom's movement, basically. His movement was so on point for the last game. And it was very difficult for Coltman to get a, any hit whatsoever, much less a decent opening hit. Not only that, but the ledge traps just are not happening for him right now. Mm -hmm. uh, right as I say that, this offstage play, that was how he took the first stock in game one. There was Nikita's just doing work. When once Roy is put into that specific situation, which I believe there was actually some questionable DI, he DI and forward tilt very far out. Uh, and once he's far out enough, just Nikita is practically guaranteed to close out the stock. And with Tom taking a quick stock with F Smash and not taking too much stock, we're back to even. And not taking too much damage, was I mean? I apologize. Um, we're right back to even and right back to Coltman trying to gimp Tom. All right, the ledge trap's actually working out for uh, Tom this time around. He actually managed to burn his jump, but that trade meant that Tom was not able to capitalize off of it. So yeah. Now Coltman's trying to go for a little more tricky movement of his own, using the platforms pretty effectively, throwing out these grenades here and there, but despite how sneaky he's being, he's not actually finding any meaningful openings. But as they say that a bit of an overextension from Tom. But even then, the the just the a single win from in neutral for Coltman is like six, seven damage off a grenade, whereas when Tom does it. It's it's massive, almost leading to a kill even right there. Yeah, Tom's absolutely taking advantage of, well, using his advantage to far more and trying to put and putting way more damage on each hit than Coltman is getting. So, I I feel like this is well, this is still fairly close because both are well are well within kill percent at the moment. Or at least Tom is coming close to kill percent. Oh, I'd say Tom is at kill percent. Up throw is still not doing it. He's at 200% right now. Oh, there we go. Hit him with the Thundercats. Really smart there. Recognizing that uh, Coleman was going for a lot of those landing back airs. Knowing the platform was in the way. And that up smash has quite a generous hitbox. That was finally the landing catch that he needed. And now Tom looking pretty solid here. Coleman trapped in the corner and he's managing to do more and more damage. Really good B reverse. Leading to a that movement off the ledge leading him to a kill because it was very difficult to follow him. I could barely follow him with my eyes, much less Tom could follow him with his character. <laughs> um still Tom, Coleman is in a very tough situation, attempting to come back from Attempting to come back from a hundred percent deficit, and there we go, taking it with a side B. And once again, the game was decided at the ledge. Just over and over again, Tom showing how effective his ledge trapping was, despite the amount of hitboxes that Snake can put. Uh, you know, when he's in control there, Coltman was never able to get the same mileage that uh, Tom was able to eke out from that that ledge play.